n square plus phi n plus 6 is a multiple of 6. n is a natural number less than 100. n square plus phi n plus 6 is nothing but n plus 2 into n plus 3. Product of two consecutive numbers. Now, to start with, if a number has to be a multiple of 6, it has got to be a multiple of 2 and a multiple of 3. If we know any two consecutive natural numbers are both of them of, of the two of them one of them is going to be even one is going to be odd so n plus 2 into n plus 3 is definitely a multiple of 2 so all i need to do is worry about multiples of 3 n plus 2 into n plus 3 n can be 1 2 3 4 5 all the way till 99 and a natural number less than 100 how many values can n take now n plus 2 into n plus 3 is definitely even so all we need to do is worry about whether it's a multiple of 3 or not. Now I'm going to do a little bit of trial and error and then build from there. When n equal to 1, this is 3 into 4. So 3 into something, so definitely a multiple of 3, so 1. When n is equal to 2, we're talking about 4 into 5, it's not a multiple. This doesn't work. When n is 3, it is 5 into 6, it works. When n is 4, it is 6 into 7, it works. When n is 5, 7 into 8, 7 into 8 is 56, that doesn't work. When n is 6, 8 into 9, that works. When n is 7, 9 into 10, that works. When n is 8, it becomes 10 into 11, it does not work and so on. Think about this, it works for 1, does not work for 2, 3 and 4 it works, 5 does not work, 6 and 7 it works, 8 does, it does not work. So, two numbers it works and for one number it does not work. That's how it goes. Why does it go like that? n plus 2 into n plus 3. If you think about it, n divided by 3, remainder can be 0, 1 or 2. If n by 3 remainder is 0, then n plus 2 remainder would be 2, n plus 3 remainder would be 0. So, this will do, will be a multiple of 3, that will work. If n by 3 remainder were 1, n plus 2 will leave a remainder 0, n plus 3 will remainder leave a remainder 1, this will again be a multiple of 2. n plus 2, if, if n leaves a remainder of 2, n plus 2 will leave a remainder 1, n plus 3 will leave a remainder 2, this will not be a multiple of 2. Very simple, which is why every set of 3 numbers, 2 works and 1 does not work. Right? We have 99 numbers to worry about. 1 to 99. Now, we know that for numbers 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, all of that, it doesn't work. The remaining numbers, 1, 3, 4, 6, 7, sorry, 9, 10, 13, 14, all of these, it works. For every set of three numbers, 1, it does not work, 2, it works. We have 99 consecutive natural numbers or 33 sets of 3. What do I mean by 3? 3 consecutive numbers. 99 is 33 into 3. So out of the 99 natural numbers, for 33 it will not work. For 66 it will work. Which 33 are these? This is a 33 from 2, 5, 8, 11. Any number that's a multiple of 3 plus 2 all the way till 98. We can th think of this as an AP, first term, last term, fine number of terms. Or you can say any set of three consecutive integers, two will work, one won't work. 99 is a set of 33 sets of three consecutive integers. In each of those sets of three, two will work, one will not work. 33 into, six, into 2, 66 integers, 66 natural numbers, it works. Now we just have to look at the answer charts and we get through. How many values can n take? n can take 66 values. This is more of a counting question than a number theory question but we take an equation factorize it use a little bit of number theory and then go on to counting and right? these kind of questions which combine more than one topic they are becoming common so keep that in mind